Hey guys, it's Charles D'Angelo. Today I'm simply sharing with you a few things that you absolutely should avoid if you're looking to drop a radical amount of body fat in a short amount of time. And what I'm going to say today is going to be a bit probably contradictory to what you've learned growing up. I know growing up in a family of obesity, a family where I weighed 360 pounds, my dad was overweight, all of his relatives who were Italian struggled with their weight, I learned some things early on that most people, including myself, thought were good for me, but after I educated myself on really how to build a body that was lean, fit, energized, strong, physically vital, I realized those very things that I thought at one time were good for me were the things that were causing me problems all along. So the first thing I'd recommend that you begin to avoid if you're looking to drop a radical amount of body fat is fruit juice. Fruit juice is really often something that stopped being juice a long time ago. Now it's a lot of artificial things concentrated into a bottle that again, even if it does come from the natural fruit, the orange, the apple, whatever, you're simply drinking a lot of liquid sugar. And if you're looking to burn fat, you want your body to start to burn its own energy not sugar. So cut out fruit juice. In fact, one rule of thumb that I teach all my clients is try not to drink your calories. Try to make certain that the calories you're taking in are from real foods. When you sit down and you think about a bottle of orange juice, and I know as 360 pounds at one time in my life, going to school every morning, stopping at the convenience store, if I picked up a bottle of orange juice, I thought I was doing something that was healthy. I mean, after all, it was fruit, right? And fruit's supposed to be good for you. Fruit is good for you if you're at a certain point, but if you're still, still looking to drop a lot of body fat, fruit is something, and fructose, sugar, is something you want to really try to avoid. When you look at a bottle of fruit juice, think about how many pieces of fruit, let's talk about oranges for example, how many oranges it would take to fill that bottle. So if you have a 16 ounce bottle of fruit juice, you think maybe at five, six, maybe seven oranges that were condensed into that bottle. So you're having all those vitamins, all those minerals, and all that sugar in one serving. So you might want to think about, would it be possible for you to be able to sit down and eat seven oranges? I mean, I could do a lot when I was 360, but seven oranges, that's a lot. So is your body really prepared for that much? And the answer, of course, is no. If you have that much of an influx of sugar at one time, of course you're going to spike your blood sugar through the roof, and in turn, your body's going to release a lot of insulin. And then after that sugar is burned off, you're going to be left with an emptiness, a hunger, because the insulin is still present in your blood system. So it's really important to try to keep your blood sugar stable by not ingesting calories in liquid form. Step one or tip one. Tip two is something else that I thought was something I was doing that was good for me when I was 360, and that was drinking milk. Milk, I would almost have to create an entirely separate video to go over it, but something about milk and dairy is this, is that in moderation it's all right, but if you have too much of it, Literature has shown that it actually builds up a lot of mucus in your digestive tract. And what that mucus does is it inhibits your body's ability to really absorb nutrients. So you might want to think about, again, going by the rule that I recommend to my clients, which is simply eliminate liquid calories from your diet. Water would be ideal. Tea, okay. Uh, diet soda is not something I'm a huge fan of, but you know if it's the worst thing you're doing, then you're doing a lot better than probably what you're doing right now. So try to go in, go to just making sure that all your calories are coming from real food, not liquids. Three, <laughs> when I was a kid, something I was taught is granola bars were good for you, right? I mean, they're healthy, they're quick, they're accessible, and they taste good. But nowadays, a lot of granola bars are almost like candy bars <laughs> with a little bit of protein added. So I would, if I were you, think about Again, getting some really good insight into how you're eating every day and cutting out a lot of these easy, accessible, tasty things that are highly processed. Granola, for a small amount, is highly caloric. It's just filled with calories. So you really want to look at not how many calories am I eating a day, but the quality of calories. Are they usable? Is there a lot of fiber? Or is it just a ton of sugar I'm ingesting? And if you look at any of the labels of granola products, often you're having just tons of sugar paired with the granola. So granola bars, you know, that are partly granola, but then a layer of chocolate on top, that, again, it's almost healthier to eat the wrapper in some cases than it is to actually eat the granola bar. Lastly, the thing I would ask you to consider is really cutting out anything that's white. White rice, white bread, 
All these things, again, when they're broken down in their simplest form, turn to sugar most most cases. So you want to try to maintain a balanced glucose level because the more stable your blood sugar, the more stable your satiety. In other words, in layman's terms, you're not so hungry, okay? So just think about taking a look at what you're eating every day, if you're not on my program, and think about, am I consuming a large amount of calories from liquids, that being juice? Because fruit's excellent for you. You know, cantaloupe, watermelon, berries, they're rich in fiber, but when you condense them all down into a liquid, you know, think about the volume that your body has to deal with because number one, often you're not getting the fiber that you would from the fruit, so you're just getting all that sugar. Secondly, your body wasn't designed for that much at one time. Thirdly, your body is trying, if you're looking to lose body fat, to burn its own energy. So you really want to think about making sure that your calories are coming from salad foods that are low glycemic. That's a real hot term today for foods that simply don't spike your blood sugar. So when you hear the word a low glycemic food or a low GI food, a low glycemic index food, it simply means it's a food that doesn't spike your blood sugar, okay? So am I drinking a lot of calories and are those usable calories? Most cases are not, so eliminate those things. Get rid of the fruit juices, replace it with water. Uh, sports drinks, you know, are, am I drinking a lot of Gatorade, a lot of stuff that has tons of sugar that's geared for an athlete, a person that's a high performance or a high endurance athlete, and you're not at that level of performance yet, so your body really doesn't need that. So think about cutting those things out. Milk, am I just drinking milk in excess, you know, causing a lot of mucus to build up my system and thereby keeping my body from really absorbing the nutrients that it could absorb if that mucus wasn't present? Do I need to cut that out? Oftentimes when you cut these things out, any inflammation that's present in the body is eliminated. So you see not only a drop on the scale, you feel better. You don't feel so congested. You don't feel so full and bloated all the time. Thirdly, have you been doing things that a lot of people think are easy and that are healthful things to do, like eating granola bars, right? <laughs> Go to the store and buy a box of granola bars. And if that's the case, start to think about really trying to simplify your diet by going back to real food. And even if you buy it at one of these health food stores, healthy food that's at a, a health food store is one thing, but junk food that's sold under the umbrella of a health food store is an entirely different thing. And oftentimes when a person goes to Whole Foods Market or something like that, and they buy cookies or that, they, they automatically feel guilt-free because they say, well, I bought it at this organic place. Look, a cookie's still a cookie. <laughs> so you really need to cut back on those things and be more strategic rather than spontaneous in your habits. Lastly, again, cut out all the white products in your diet. Um, people think that you know by eating rice or by simply counting calories, that they're doing a magnificent thing. And I'm not saying that what you're doing is wrong. I'm just saying I found a better way myself by not looking at the quantity of calories that is being consumed, but rather the quality of calories. Let me ask you a question. If a person's eating a diet of 2,000 calories of em absolutely empty calories, useless calories, junk food, right? But it's 2,000 calories. So they're eating a number of candy bars, a couple of sugar drinks, maybe a soda or two, and a hamburger. Okay, very useless, empty calories. Compared to a person that's having 1,500 calories of pure food, real food from the earth, you can get it off of a tree, get it out of the ground, or uh, kill it, animal protein, right? Or fish, okay? If someone's eating less calories, but they're higher quality, as compared to the person that's eating more calories, but they're useless, who's doing a better thing for their body? And the answer is, even though the person's eating a lower amount of calories, the 1,500 calories, they're doing more for their body. So begin to think about all these things. I went a little longer than I thought I would. It's now about 10 minutes into this. But I really was just passionate about this information this morning because I want people to realize that making the changes that you want to make are simple. Weight loss isn't something that you chase after. It's something you achieve by the disciplines that you begin to embrace. It's not something you chase. It's something you embrace by the disciplines you practice. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing of your success. Take care.